This is Katerin with Vive Katerin. I'm here in New York City at WIP for Drita Diavanzo's Hurricane Sandy Relief Celebrity Fundraiser event. Let's go in and check it out. Drita, thank you so much for putting this fundraiser event together with Johnny Donovan here at WIP. Tell us about your involvement with Hurricane Sandy. I know that you live in Zone A and you were affected, your friends were affected, your neighbors. Yes. Tell us about that. I mean, I took this very personal. I have close friends of mine that lost everything. They're left with just a photo. I mean, I have neighbors that, you know, know people that had died during this um, horrific tragedy. So I just feel like I couldn't rest unless I did something. So that's why I'm doing something tonight. And hopefully I raise a lot of money. I can give, you know, these families they're wonderful people if you go to the church and you meet them it's really really sad because they're lost they don't know where to go who to turn to I've had a lot of people contact me and they ask me for help I mean I feel so honored absolutely Drita. I mean you have a huge heart um, your two children I know they were affected as well personally they had um, their friends and you know their family again yep. that were directly impacted how was that relationship with explaining to your children about what was going on out there you know um, you always watch TV and you see it happen other places like Hurricane Katrina and you know you feel for them when when it's in your own home I mean you're like Wow, you feel kind of guilty that you only have a problem of not having electric. Speaking to my kids about it, my daughter, you know, her close friend, one of her best friends was 13 years old and she passed away. So it's it's devastating. I feel like crying, so. I know, I do too. And, and that's exactly why this event is really a meaningful one that Drita and Johnny put together. It's something that's really personal. We're gonna do all that we can to make sure that we raise money, that we continue supporting all of those that were affected. We're, we're here to support Drita Absolutely. Okay. and the hurricane victims also. Some Drita, the hurricane victims. Happy to be here from Chicago. Yes. Yeah, so I, you know, Staten Island got, you know, very affected by this storm. So that's why we're here to do anything that we could for our community. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. I know that there's a lot of families, our own friends, um, who've gotten affected at both Staten Island and Jersey Shore. And um, this is just a, a, a all over. And, and, and it's just it's important for us to continue to support and, and help those to just move forward. Because right now, I think we're in that next wave where they really need to know, like, what's the next step? Well, we got to rebuild. Yeah. we got to stick together and help as much as we can. I hate to see people lose everything. Just coming from nothing, I know how it feels to be in that position, and I, I my heart goes out to them deeply. Well, thank you for giving them an area of where to turn to. So thank you, and let's make tonight a really important and a big event. Thanks so much. Thank you, Val. Thank you. I'm here with Frank Russo. How are you tonight? How are you? So how are things going? We're doing good. Everybody's doing good. Um, my family was really affected by the storm. You know, we were in Zone A. Um, so when Drita told me about the event and everything, I said I'll do anything in my power, you know, to help out. You know, we're very fortunate. You know, I'm just out of the area trying to get everything back together. But there's a lot of families in need. You know, just seeing something like this hit home, it really puts everything in perspective. You know, we're very fortunate that we have all these resources and hopefully definitely try to do a good thing tonight. Something like this you never think will hit home. You know, um, like I said, we were very fortunate in my family. But there's people in my backyard that lost everything. And for me to, to see that from a first-hand point of view, it's one of those things you see on TV, like you see Katrina, you say, I can never see that happening to you or to myself. And for it to actually happen, it's really, it's surreal, you know, and you really definitely got to count your blessings and do everything you can for your fellow neighbor. So it's great that we're all here for a good cause. I'm here with Tanisha. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for coming out to support this it. amazing fundraising event. No other way. Thank you for having me. You know, New Yorkers have to come together. We always come together. Um, when we need each other most and I'm here to support a great cause. Thank you. So tell us about your involvement with Hurricane Sandy. Well, oh my God, so far, I actually, it touched me um, deeply because a lot of my friends were affected and lost everything. So um, aside from helping them, I've already given up to $3,000 to the Red Cross of my own money. My mom is a nurse in the New York City hospitals at Kings County. She's also donated a lot of her time as well. And I'm also in talks with some of the major uh, 
biggest promoters in New York to do a big fundraising party event to um, help restore, um, you know, some of the homes in Brooklyn. I'm here with Jojo Spadafora. How are you tonight? Freezing. <laughs> well, what, what we do to look good. Absolutely. Right. But think about those that were affected by Hurricane Sandy and how cold those people have been. And without us being here tonight and helping them with clothes and with food and making a difference, I mean, that's really what we're here to do. So please tell our viewers your involvement with Hurricane Sandy. Exactly. I actually came out tonight to support. Um, I really couldn't make it out. I just I was like, you know what? I was super busy my cousins in the hospital right now so things are crazy but I was like you know what I want to come out and show my support because like you said there's so many people who lost everything so I'm just here to donate some money and like I said show my support I'm here with Mike John thanks for coming out tonight no problem no problem what's been going on with your involvement with Hurricane Sandy relief well, um, I'm here as a performer today, and um, you know I'm here to provide the musical relief. So uh, that's, that's my job. I'm singing songs tonight for, uh, to you know help comfort, like because a lot of people here have uh, relatives or friends who are in Staten Island, out in the um, the Jersey Shore, the Jersey Shore, who are affected. So you know, just you know, I'm here just to support them, you know, musically. So that's why I'm here. I'm here with DJ Tesso tonight. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for being a part of this fundraising event this evening. No problem, no problem. I'm I'm one of the, I'm actually a victim too of uh, Hurricane Sandy. I lost three cars, half my apartment got wiped out, but I'm here still supporting. I donated some clothes, you know, just having fun now. I'm here with Jason Christopher Peters. Thank you so much for coming out. Tell us what's been going on with you as far as being a support for this entire disaster. Um, I think well the main important thing right now is the people who are suffering. Um, I just got back from Atlanta. I did a show with Derek J from Atlanta Housewives and Shay from Love and Hip Hop. Um, just to do things, help raise money for all these people who are uh, less fortunate right now and don't really have anything. So it, it's affecting me a lot. I have lots of friends in Jersey who are in hotels and things like that. So, um, you know, I'm glad to donate money to this cause. I'm here with Elizabeth from Tough Love. Elizabeth, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing very good. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting us. It's a pleasure. It's just, um, I'm so glad we're doing something like this where we all can um, unite and come together as one and just literally just, you know, help any way we can as far as donations, clothing, food, anything. Like, because I'm from the Jersey Shore and we got affected really, really bad. It's just heartbreaking and I know all the Northeast has too. And, you know, it's just, I'm so honored to be here and I just wish I could do as many things as I could to go help out, come to many fundraisers as I can. Yes. I'm here with Madam Mayhem. How are you tonight? I'm great. I'm excited to be out here for a great cause. It's, it's just great to be out here and, and I mean, what happened with Sandy was horrible and it's great to come out here and have everyone come out here together and really just raise money. Tell us about your involvement with Hurricane Sandy and the relief and what was your involvement with the disaster? Well, I would have to say that ever since the disaster hit, um, I was fortunate enough to not get the worst of it um, where I was living, but everyone else that I know and just people and just seeing it on the news, it was so horrible. And I mean, this is my home, so every cause that I can get involved with that is helping out Sandy, I am involved in. I'm here with Jessica. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for coming out and being a part of this yeah, fundraising awesome. event. I've been waiting to do something like this ever since the storm, so... Cause, you know, Jersey girl and Jersey got hit hard. New York got hit hard. Everything got hit hard. So absolutely. Tell us about your involvement with Hurricane Sandy and the relief. Well, actually, um, I have a cosmetics line, Glamorous Cosmetics, and we're doing 20% of every purchase going to victims of Sandy in Hoboken, New Jersey, where we film Glam Fairy. And that's like our home. That's where we work. That's where we play. It's everything there, and it's just it's there last week. It's destroyed. It's really heartbreaking. It's really sad. So, you know, we're trying to do as much of these as possible and just show the support and, you know, let everyone know, like, People are still, you know, cleaning up the pieces. So what was your involvement with Hurricane Sandy? I, um, I, you know, me and Jessica, we, we, um, we, we got a bunch of our clothes together and blankets and food and as much as we could and we donated to the Red Cross and, you know, we're, we're already speaking to a lot of events to try to get our name out there. Thank you so much for coming out tonight and supporting Hurricane Sandy Relief. Tell Absolutely. us a little bit about what your involvement has been. Uh, there are a couple different things going on. Um, I actually partnered up with Jerseylicious um, Anthony Lombardi and we have a big event coming up on December 11th. It's uh, partnered with Red Cross and we did something unique where we're actually were able to get our funds specifically for New Jersey and New York Red Cross victims, which is kind of hard to do. 
We have a lot of support coming out. We have all the ladies from Big Rich, Texas. They're bringing their sass up here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have recording artist Range, and we also have Dee Woods from MTV's Making the Band. It's fabulous, and 100% of the proceeds go to the Red Cross. I'm here with Adam and with Ramfus. Well, thank you both very much for coming out tonight and supporting Hurricane Sandy's relief fundraising event. I'm very excited to see you both here. Tell us about some, you know, projects that you've been involved with as far as helping out those that were involved with the Hurricane Sandy. I know that you personally were touched by that. Yeah, um, you know, I was without power for, for two weeks and it's a little difficult because my mother uh, has fallen ill over the last few months so we couldn't be home in houses that were 40 degrees so, you know, it directly affected us in, in that kind of way. It was so personal but uh, we felt like giving back even in those circumstances and situations. We went down along the where we live in Long Island. We were uh, helping out a family. We gave them pizza and, uh, you know, we just checked up on them every other day because they were unfortunate enough that they couldn't go to a hotel or escape somewhere else other than being in this such ravagely hit Long Beach area that everybody saw in the news was, was just totally demolished. So we were going around our community making sure that people were okay and really trying to support any which way we can, just bring awareness, you know. I'm here at Raquel Castro. How are you? Good, a little cold, but I'm good. <laughs> so tell us about your involvement with Hurricane Sandy and you know what have you been doing to make a difference you know I really once I found out about this event and they asked me to sing it at, you know like of course I would love to I'm from Long Island you know a lot of people around me were severely hit from the storm me you know thank God I, not so much but you know there's just so many people that have lost so much so you know I just you know I want to support that and support my fellow New Yorkers and just you know keep everyone staying positive I'm here with Tracy DeMarco and Corey yes how are you tonight yeah nice to meet you Yes, absolutely. Tracy, we're here for this amazing fundraising event this evening. Um, just an amazing cause that we're here tonight to support. Can you tell us about your involvement with Hurricane Sandy? Well, we actually just moved to Staten Island from New Jersey, so we got hit in Staten Island really hard. We, thankfully, in the area we moved to, were very fortunate. But there were a lot of people that, you know, obviously weren't as fortunate and lucky. But we definitely, the day after, we packed up and we donated and we went to um, a bunch of stores and gave like soap and like hand wipes and sanitizer and gloves and stuff people I think forgot about because they're over there like oh I'm not using this bathing suit let me donate it but like people need stuff for now so right the, the essentials is what they're they're needing and now we're at the three hundred dollars worth of like puppy food and dog food because I feel like everyone forgot about dogs right that's the biggest thing you know um, I love dogs and uh, Wagner High School is one of the places that actually volunteer to adopt old dogs so they had an adopting agency vet it happened last night and there was 180 dogs, about 90 of them got adopted and 40 had to get put down because people wouldn't, you know, just give a heart and just adopt a dog, you know, so we were there yesterday, we were just helping out and it's just good that we're all coming together now, you know, people, you see, you know, who really cares about everything when times like this happen, you know, we all came together, Staten Island is very lucky that we have people to give back and we're just here giving back, you know, more and more every day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was really tough. A lot of the shelters don't take animals in, so they really had to find a place where their pets could be taken care of. So it's great that you were there to support, you know, those that needed the support for their pets. I mean, they are like our friends or our family. Um, so tell us about what you've been doing as far as, you know, any up and coming projects right now. Um, actually, the cast of Jersey Licious is working on a um, organization called Reality Cares. So Anthony Lombardi is my boss at AR Salon and he's the head of that. So that's really exciting that we're going to be involved in that. So I can't wait to just see all the progress and help as many people as we can. Jenna Russo, how are you tonight? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming out. Tell us about your upcoming projects? Um, I'm actually in the studio right now and um, I'm doing singing so I'm sooner or later within the next couple weeks I have a single coming out so you guys will hear that and I'm really really excited because this is like the main thing that I wanted to do and the reason that I want on TV so um, I'm excited it's dancey housey kind of disco -y music so I hope that everyone keeps in touch to my Twitter O Jenna O uh, Facebook Jenna Russo on Facebook um, Instagram Jenna Russo XO keep in touch and follow me so that you guys can hear my song and everything else that's coming out. Hey Jenna tell us about your involvement with Hurricane Sandy? Well, um, I'm from Long Island, so actually my boyfriend lost his house. I lost my car. He lost both his cars. It's sad, but you know what? You have to keep your head up. It's really not that big of a deal. You have insurance, but for everyone else who lost their homes, family members, like, it's, it's heartbreaking. Absolutely. So can you leave our viewers with an inspirational message? Yes. Um, everyone 
just get out there, lend a hand, do anything you can to help, and um, just be a part of the cause.